Welcome Dr. VK Saraswatu, News Portal BharatDefenseCovers.com. Apart from a high-end research, uh, DRDO is also tasked to improve the skill of our soldiers, their mental and physical skills too. Uh, in that direction, what DRDO is doing and what results are we getting till now? DRDO has been mandated to take care of the man behind the machine. Yes. And uh, we have a strong group, we call it a life sciences cluster, which looks after all these aspects. Starting from the test procedures for selecting the right person for the right job in all the three armed forces, where we have given uh, the selection procedure, the test procedure for how to select a man with respect to his attitude, aptitude, physical, mental parameters. Our laboratory uh, here in Delhi looks after, we call it DIPR. It does this activity and today all the selection processes in the service, three services are based upon the tests which have been developed by us. So this is as far as the selection procedure is concerned. Next one is protecting them against various environments in which they are firing. The, the guy who is in the, say, high altitudes, cold region, where oxygen is low, we have created many equipments, devices, clothing, which are useful for them to, them to you know, combat that kind of environment. There is another psychological aspect when a soldier is deployed on such, uh, such terrains. So we also study their psychological behavior, their, their fatigue behavior, and also suggest what kind of measures they have to take. So this group is doing fantastic work. Third one is, we also provide them wherever shortages are there. For example, if you are in the Leh Ladakh region, yes, uh, once upon a time there never used to be any vegetable. The entire set quantity of vegetable used to be procured, procured from, from Delhi and Chandigarh and spending a lot of money. And in addition to that, since the winter season comes and the transportation becomes a problem, they have to stockpile both diesel and uh, yeah, vegetables. Basically. All this has been a story of past now. Today, with the help of our lab today, in the area like Leh and Ladakh, 70% of the requirement of the army today deployed there in terms of vegetables and other fruits is being met by the products which have been developed by our Tihar lab. And uh, the advantage, one more advantage is there that uh, the technology of greenhouse and the special seeds which have been developed by our, our people have been, has been given to these farmers of Leh and Ladakh region, which has introduced them to new system of farming. Mm -hmm. As a result, there's a lot of employment and they are very happy that there is a lab which is meeting their requirements. That's great. So like that we are doing in many areas, like nuclear, biological and chemical production of the soldiers. We are making suits for them, we are giving decontamination system, mm -hmm. we are also making special kits for them to, in case they are affected, they should be able to inject mm -hmm. an antidote immediately. Like that many products have been done in our life sciences laboratory. The satisfaction level of the armed forces uh, in this area is very high. In mm -hmm. fact, they love our life science oh, laboratories great. because the amount of support which has been given is tremendous. Thank you so yeah. much for talking to us and wish you all the best. Thank for you your so much. Thank you. Ventures. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice talking. Sir.